What's up, Long Beach? Welcome back to LBPostSports.com. It's JJ. It's Zumi. And uh, Long Beach was ready to flex its muscle at home, trying to get over that loss against Riverside on Saturday. It's Thursday night in the mid. Fullerton is in town, and Demo is on the floor. Yeah, 49ers looking to go 6-1 uh, and one in conference, and Donovan Morris came in with a bum foot. Uh, X-rays were negative, but they think it's a stress fracture right now. Two of the best coaches in the Big West, and the house was full of some great coaches, uh, namely Tex Winter. To, uh, used to spent five years at Long Beach State, had a pretty good record, and I don't know if you know, but since then has uh, gotten nine championship rings. Paul Goidos in the house, Art Levine shooting some shots, and uh, and Fullerton actually came through for this one, which made a great atmosphere in the mid. Yeah, and there's really nothing else like it. You know, no matter where these teams, these two teams are in conference, and these schools just frankly just don't like each other frankly just don't <laughs> like each other mid packed to the brim as you can see here um the student section ready to go for the jump in this one rivalry baby let's get this thing going and it was hot to begin with uh long beach actually did a little line change early took the starters out and number 21 larry anderson took over larry really just grabbed this game and uh and made it his own and uh you know, like, like you said, they came up with that line change and it needed a spark and Larry was it. Yeah, he was. Uh, the student section digs it. Fullerton did a good job of getting in the lane early in this game and that's where Long Beach pretty much has trouble defensively. They did, but uh, Long Beach was so good uh, on the perimeter defensively that they made up for it. Fullerton only shot 29% from the half and then uh, when Casper Ware got back in after being taken out, uh, he took advantage and had some really pretty passes to... Uh, put the beach up early in the first. Yeah, a few of his five uh, assists right here. A nice steal from Larry Anderson. And then, bum knee, bum foot, bum whatever. Demo is not a bum. Whatever. Donovan is still one of the best scorers, pure scorers in the Big West. And um, there's not a lot you can do to stop him. He even went to the hole, which we didn't expect. We thought it would be a lot of pull-up jumpers and stuff. But in, in the first half, Donovan went to the hole and he had success. He was limping all over the place, but the scoreboard showed what it was all about. Long Beach takes a 32-24 lead. I, I'm pretty sure he didn't do 32 push-ups at halftime, but if he did, that's pretty boss. We'll give him 10. All right, give him 10. F King, go into the fans. He knows where they are. That uh, that student section. I mean, you're right, packed to the brim. There's, people had to stand in the in the, the rows. Yeah, uh, halftime was pretty cool. Six conference champions on the floor: baseball, softball, track, and some others. Uh, really cool. The gold game brought the Greeks and the other teams out, which which really made it for, like we said, a great night. But uh, Josh Akadnon had something to say about that. Oh, man. The 49ers came out real hot in the second half and built a 13-point lead. But then Akadnon, the Big West leading scorer right now, rattled off nine points in about 90 seconds. And every single one of them contested. Yeah, they were. Some of those contested shots came from Steph Gilling, who actually took back the lead for Long Beach State with some of these three-pointers, uh, three of his 15 team high. But Fullerton got back into the game by running the floor. A couple of turnovers from Long Beach State and then uh, a tough shot by Steph there. It gets rejected and uh, outlet pass for a layup. And all of a sudden, I mean, this was a one, two, three-point game uh, for the entire second half of, of the second half. They tie it up at 55. Demo. Ice cold. One foot, two foot, who cares? But guess who answers? Number one, of course. 59, 57. Steph takes it out. Demo back to him. A couple seconds left. Oh. Oh, was, yeah. uh, the place was jumping. There was oh, yeah. pandemonium in there. You felt like that was the winner. You felt like it was. Yeah, one point lead with 17 seconds left. I mean, that's all you can really ask for, right? Yeah, really. But guess what? You gotta play defense. You gotta play defense and take a take a wild flailing stab in the dark as to who was gonna get the oh, ball there, for the Titans. There was no question. And look at the if you look at the defense from Casper Ware, really good denial. That's exactly where you want him to catch the ball, 30 feet out. But he right here, you got a double team. And Akanya made him pay. Yeah, what a shot right there. Long Beach does get one last chance to uh, heave up a prayer, but it was all Akanya in the second half. It was all Akanya the whole game. I'm, I'm thinking they're going to change their name to the Fullerton Akanyans this week. Yeah, uh, I mean, he ends with 31 points, and uh, the 49ers fall to 5-2 and two in the Big West. Still in first place by a game, but uh, this is two straight losses in conference. Uh, they're going to need to turn around the ship. They got Irvine on Saturday. Well, I said it after the Riverside game. They're going to have to learn from that letdown at home. This wasn't a letdown at home, but these are the type of games as you get into the second half of the Big West, you gotta learn from them.